What are you doing, Zach? Sleeping, standing up. Yeah. Yeah. Van's back in the shop. I'm Forrest. I'm Zach. This is another FNF Garage, and uh, we're tearing apart the van today. <laughs> Time for that 460 swap. Big yeah. power. Didn't happen as a. Uh... We're going to stay together as long as we anticipated it to. It's kind of happening a little bit too soon. Yeah. It, uh, it scattered. Scattered and splattered. So. Let's have fun. The camera's looking into its own soul. All right, so I showed up late. Forrest already did plugs on the Brat. She doesn't like to run very much. So a little bit of maintenance. He had plugs on there. And uh, just put a new fuel filter in. Built our little ghetto catch can over here. A Mountain Dew bottle and some heat wrap and a giant zip tie. Now we pull it out. Yep, we pull this one out. Use it to push the blown up van in. Yeah, yesterday I blew the, uh, the motor on the van. Not thrilled about it. <laughs> but so now it's time to do what I wanted to do and put a 460 in it because I have one and I have a transmission. Why the not. <laughs> All right. When in doubt, add more horsepower. More motor. <laughs> more motor. No replacement for displacement. Exactly. Jacob so thought it was a lot before. Wait, so here's a straight pipe 460. <laughs> Here. Oh, what? What? No, I just rubbed some of the moss off. <laughs> just rubbed some of the moss off. Oh, yeah. Much better. I want to pull it out that way a little bit. There you go. I just don't want it to wick up on the shop. Right. Perfect. Now we won't break the nice part. Cool. Bit. Smell a lot of clutch. Look at that thing smoking. Yeah. It doesn't like pushing the van. Oh, it's blown everywhere. Hmm. Pieces of clutch. Let the clutch cool down for a minute. Might need to pull this radiator support out now. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, it's in there a lot, dude. It'll, if I touch, if the fan 
if I turn the fans on, it's gonna hit, but it's not hitting anything important yet. <laughs> oh, it's pretty close to that bottom pulley. It is. It's really close to that bottom pulley. Damn, that clutch smells. Yeah, it does. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> tin foil. Apparently, this front. Well, it ain't meant for pushing. Apparently not. <laughs> It almost just, we almost got it all the way in. I think we're strong enough to push it in the rest of the way. And then get it going. <laughs> okay, one more time and then go. Over the lip, momentum. <sighs> Keep rocking it. Undo that ratchet strap. Yeah. Not easy, we twist it down. Yeah, it's out of the radiator now, or out of the engine. Loop. Yeah. <laughs> For what point now? Looks a lot better. I don't think our grill's gonna go back on now. Sure will. Uh, grab a set of ice grips. Turn that up. Yeah. I'm glad we the grill off there. I'm glad I convinced you. Yeah. We don't. We might. again just gotta pound that up a little more mm -hmm. that's what i was trying to do but i was like i wanted to do your stain stuff Long day. 
That guy's cold beer never broke my heart. This is day two of the 460 swap on my van. And uh, I did a bunch of stuff off camera. I started taking the just the boring stuff underneath the car, uh, transmission mounts, torque, or uh, transfer case mount, stuff like that that doesn't look great on camera, especially because I don't have any power right now. So it's not uh, very bright in here, it's hard to see. But uh, I figured I'd grab the camera because I grabbed the cherry picker from up top and uh gonna pull this motor in trans and then hopefully tear it down tear the motor down see what's wrong with it and uh, go get that 460 out of that other truck and the transmission and swap the transfer case over and slam her back in and go wheeling again so here we go That strap's holding the full weight. Ooh. Something went. What broke? 